Smoke and Tobacco's coverage of the 2022 PCA Trade Show is brought to you by Drew Estate, the rebirth of cigars. What's going on, everybody? Matt Tobacco from SmokingTobacco.com. I'm here at the Aladino booth, JRE, with Justo Iroa. Justo, how are you? Hey, how are you? Great to see you again, Matthew. It is, it, it, congratulations on your wedding. Thank you. Many blessings for many, many years. That's the most important thing. Thank you, Justo. That's really nice of you. Uh, you are showcasing the Aladino Classic here at the show today. Absolutely, yeah. Tell me it, a little bit more about that. Well, the, the Classic, it's, uh, the reason I'm calling Classic, because most of our line is basically based on, uh, on Corojo fillers and binders and most of the Aladino lines and uh, you know a very popular tobacco that almost all manufacturers also use is the Criollo 98 which is the Habano and this is more based of a Habano cigar with a Corojo binder and a, and a, and a Habano wrapper too to feature a different you know a more classic to what is out there in, 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 in that and it's, in, it's, it is so far has been very very successful we also were very conscious in pricing it, even though our margins are, are we sacrifice margin to be more accessible to the public. And now the current, you know, situation of inflation that we have, so it is it is something that we're looking to to basically have something very very accessible to all consumers. And when when will that cigar be shipping? No, well we already started shipping. You already started shipping. We actually okay. did a soft launch. Uh, we wanted to do the soft launch in April. We were not able to do it because of box issues, because we had problems getting plywood paint and all that stuff, like yep. all everything that has to do with uh, with you know the, the suppliers. But we were able to do a soft launch in early June for the 30 stores that went down to the, the farm operations to get shot on the products, and everybody basically sold out and they just reloaded again. So it's, it's, it's been it's been very very pleasing and very successful so far. That's great to hear. Um, I heard a little birdie told me that today is a special day for you because you got a 93 rating. Well, well yeah, it is. That is pretty awesome. Uh, Cigar Aficionado gave us a rating of a 93 on the patent, mm -hmm. and uh, we're very excited. And hopefully, you know, we'll make it to to the final the final to, round. To the final <laughs> round. That would be. And if they do that, they're going to destroy it. That's a hard size to make, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Yeah, <laughs> it's almost like a blessing and a curse. You know, it's yeah, like it's an honor, but then it, it, yeah, you can't keep yeah. up. <laughs> but that's very that's very flattering, and we're very honored. And, and you know, uh, you know, cigar fishing house is very prestigious, and we're very honored. Well, congratulations on that. Is there anything else that you guys are working on, maybe towards the end of the year, that we might see for the holiday well, season? Well, right now in in the in the Cameroon line, we expanded two SKUs. We expanded the the we did a, a, a Queens Perfecto, which is called a Queen, uh, Queens, uh, which is a 46 by five and a half, and we also did a Gordo, a 60 by 60, uh, no, a 60 by six and a half, and we also came out on our Connecticut line a Gordo too, which we didn't have. We, you know, at the beginning, yeah, I was a little bit shy of the of the Gordo sizes, and also our classics just got a Gordo size. I mean, we've been missing out on that, and, and we're not offering to a lot of consumers that do Gordos, you know, the golf and cigar, and you know, people that like larger ring gauges, and we're, we're adapted a little bit to, to, to the reality of the demand. Yeah, the larger sizes are, in the last few years have really started to really pick up on popularity, um, which has been interesting. Yeah. Um, people want bigger cigars, which, you know, traditionally, the smaller sizes have been very popular, especially over in Europe and other countries, but yeah. now here you're seeing a lot of demand for these bigger cigars, and people just, they want to smoke a lot more tobacco. Um, you no, know, it's, it's, it's nice to see these trends happen in the industry. Yeah, so. which is good. So, you know, so I'm, I'm putting myself out there to be more accessible to all consumers. Right. And, and, and you know, it's, it, as we slowly grow, it's part of the growing pains that we need to also learn in the business. So, you know. Absolutely. Well, Justo, you guys are doing a great job. Congrats on a successful show, on your 93. Uh, we look forward to seeing everything else in the future. Um, great cigars, as always. We're smoking the Cameroon. It's a fantastic cigar. Uh, That's one of my, my go-to guys. Uh, yeah. You yeah, know, Cameroon is my go-to cigar. It's good. Yeah. It's really good. Well, thank you for sitting down and talking with us today. Good luck with everything else. Good luck with the rest of the show. And we'll catch up with you soon. Well, and to you lovely couple. The best of all, safe travels back home. And for everybody at the show, safe travels and many blessings. Thank you. Thank you. Guys, stay tuned for more coverage from PCA 2022.